Now, when it comes to our 60, 70, and 80 gig radios, basically we have simplex radios, uh, dual channel radios, and bi-directional radios. Basically what we do is, whether it's a bi-directional Ethernet radio or bi-directional video radio, the, the, the RF radio part is the same. What we do is we put a different front end in, so there'll be an HDSDI input and output or an Ethernet port. And actually, the Ethernet is usually done through fiber on these devices. We have a, mo a multi-mode or a single-mode uh, fiber optic connection for you here. So, so we have the, the flexibility. We haven't done any HDSDI over 80 gigs yet, but if someone needed that, needed that extra range, um, um, we could certainly build, up, build a radio to do that. Um, now, the beauty of the 70 and 80 gigs, we can do, it's a dual band radio. So basically, it's a 70 gigahertz duplex circuit and an 80 gigahertz duplex circuit running together uh, in the same housing. Um, it is two channels, though. So we're aggregating the bandwidth over two pipes. So uh, you know we need to do some load balancing through there. Um, you could still put video through there, but you know you probably want video on one path. You know each video you wouldn't want to split your video payload over two paths, um, or we just make sure that we bond those two paths together. So so um, uh, so you can see here by having the two channels. Uh, uh, we can push 2.5 gigs. We can do two to five kilometers. Extremely low latency. So again, you know, whether it's cellular backhaul, your high frequency trading, or or theoretically, we could push video through on this as well. Um, you know, this may help us out when we want to try to push. Uh, you know, maybe we can uh, uh, compress a 4K stream down to 2.5 gigabits per second and have like you know a near lossless transmission of 4K over this type of radio. That might be a migration path. Or we would do more complex modulation schemes to get 10, 12 gigabits per 